Hi, welcome. It's Ms. Dassel of Faith Nights Private Tutoring, and we are continuing with our SE prep. Uh, we have some weird problems, but we made it into a little game. So tell me if you any comments, if you like this format better, if it's more interactive, more interesting, or if we go back to the regular a question on your screen and I just answer it. All right, so let's answer some questions. All right, so welcome to Miss Dasa's SEA Math Quiz. Let's play. I think I should add some music. Anywho, so how do we play? So you're going to read the question two times. You're looking for keyword clues. Then you're going to answer the question, of course, and always, always check over your answer. Pause the video, then write your statements down. So let's go into the first question. Are you ready? Have your pen and pencil and notebooks? Let's go. All right. So Karen uses 0 0.65 meters of cloth to make one skirt. How many meters of cloth would she need to make 12 similar skirts? Pause to answer. All right, so let's look at the answer. Did you get what I got? So one skirt is 0 0.65 meters. 12 skirts would be 12 multiplied by 0 0.65 meters. Hopefully you remember how to do multiplication using decimals. All you do is simply place the decimal to the side, multiply like a regular whole number, and then put back the decimal in the right place. So this is two decimal places. So you're going to place it. Make sure your answer has two decimal places. Cloth needed for 12 skirts is 7.8 meters. Right? It's only one place here because obviously it would be a zero. As understood, you don't have to put a zero there. So you could just leave it as 7.8. So 7.8 meters. All right, let's head to the next question. So Andy, Tom, and Brad shared $85 among themselves. Andy received $10 more than Tom, while Brad received $20 more than Andy. How much money did each boy receive? Now, this one is a little tricky, so I really need you to take your time. Okay, so I'm going to do this question with you, right? Because this is a little tricky, but I don't want you to be intimidated. All right, so I like to use a little visual aid. You are free to do that as well. So we have Tom, right? And Andy makes 10 more than Tom. So let's put Andy in a different color. So Andy... makes the same amount as Tom plus the extra 10. All right, so $10 there. Then we have Brad. So Brad makes the minimum of what Tom makes. And he also makes what Andy makes, so that's 10 again, plus an additional $20. 
right? So this question is based on unequal sharing. So we know the steps to unequal sharing. First step, we remove the excess. What is the excess? So the excess is ten dollars plus ten dollars plus twenty dollars, and that is forty dollars. So step one, remove excess. So the total is $85 that they have to share. So we're removing, what did I put here? 40. 40. And we get $45. So we're going to split this $45 three ways. So the next step we divide. So there are three people, so we divide by three. And we get $15. So this $15 represents the base or the minimum. So everybody gets a minimum or base amount of $15. So now we could allocate the funds to each person. So Tom, he gets the minimum. So that's 15 Andy gets the minimum plus 10. So Andy will get 25. 15 plus 10 is $25. And Brad will get the minimum plus Andy's amount plus his $20. So 10 plus 20 plus 15 will give us $45. So that's what each person gets. Very nice. On to the next one. We have the cost of a bag is three times the cost of a cap. The total cost of two bags and three caps is $180. What is the cost of one cap? Pause the answer. Then let's head on over to the answer. All right, so this one is a little tricky, so it's going to be in two parts for me to explain, because I want to make sure that we understand. All right, so we have our statements. Cost of two bags and three caps is $180. The cost of one bag is three times the cost of one cap, All right? So we are going to make a visual aid for us to figure out what is this question saying? So bag, there's a bag there, three times the cost of a cap. So one bag is basically three caps, two bags, Six caps. Caps, just plain caps, one of each. Right? So they bought two bags. So that represents one, two, three, four, five, six caps. And they got three caps, seven, eight, nine caps. Right? So we have translated this question so that the bags and the caps so you have the same units of measure, right? So we have nine caps, so we need to find out the cost of one cap. So 180 divided by nine is $20. All right, let's double check that answer. There's a little cap floating in the universe, all right. So we could double check if we're not sure. Always double check your week. So three caps, $20 by three. That's 
one bag, remember it's three times the cost of one cap. So one bag is gonna cost the same $6 basically, because it's 20 by three. So two bags would be $120. Three caps would be $60. So we, we get back the original price which is $180. So two bags, three caps, $180. All right, on to the next one. We're getting a little more difficult. Closer to the exam. All right, a clock shows that the time in Trinidad is 6 a.m. The clock is 15 minutes slow. The time in Trinidad is two hours ahead of the time in Canada. What is the correct time in Canada? All right, so quick note, minute slow means that we have to add time. Minutes fast means that we have to subtract time. So it's 50 minutes slow. So Trinidad time is actually 6.15 a.m. And Canada is two hours behind. So 6.15 minus two hours is 4.15 a.m. So time in Canada is 4.15 a.m. On to the next. Ooh, this one is a tricky one. Keisha's luggage was over the limit by five kg. When she removed her hair dryer and shampoo, the luggage was below the limit by 500 grams. When she put back the hair dryer, the luggage was over the limit by two kg. What was the mass of the hair dryer in grams? Pause to answer. All right, so here I did a little visual aid because this is a little tricky as well. So our blue line there is the limit, right? The luggage was originally 500 grams. I changed everything to one unit of measure. So it's all gonna be grams because the answer asks for grams and that's easier to work with. So the luggage is 500 grams over the limit. The hair dryer only was 2,000 grams over the limit. And the hair dryer plus the shampoo was 500 grams under the limit. So we know the mass of the hair dryer is going to be 2,000 plus 5, 500 grams. The mass of, which is 2,500 grams. So the answer is 2,500. 100 grams. I know it seems a little tricky, but it's actually a lot simpler than you think. So sometimes don't overthink a question. Just focus, zoom in on what they're asking you. All right. All right, and that was the end of our quiz, our essay quiz. How did you do? Did you get all of the questions right? Let's see, hopefully you did. If you need any more help, you can message me, Faith of Wings Tutoring, on Facebook, on IG, comment in the comments if you have any questions if any subject you want um topic in math you want me to work on let me know we will also work on some more creative writing soon so look out for those videos as well so make sure you like and subscribe take care bye